Hello, it's Dr. Simon again. Today, we're going to talk about energy dissipation. We've talked a lot about energy changing from one form into another. We talked about how sometimes you lose some energy. That's the second law of thermodynamics. Sometimes you really want to lose all of the energy. And that loss of energy is called energy dissipation. Think about a crash test. You have a car that runs into a wall and the crash test dummies in the car move forward but you want them to survive. You don't want them to hit the windshield. In that case, you're trying to dissipate all of the energy that is in that moving car quickly when it hits that wall so that you don't dissipate it in the drivers hitting the windshield. And so the way you do that is you dissipate that energy by converting it into other forms in the front of the car. Maybe you convert it into by squashing material or by breaking things in the front of the car so that the driver slows down more gradually rather than just hitting the windshield. That's energy dissipation and I hope you find that useful in your next challenge.